right now we are engaged in a uh, uh, intel gathering mission. Uh, we need to uh, go off the uh, Somalian coast and uh, look for pirate camps and uh, try to uh, see if there are any preparations going on, uh, when they are preparing themselves, uh, what about the uh, pirated ships, uh, are they still in the positions that uh, they were reported last, what are the uh, uh, intensity of, of uh, of activity uh, of the coastline and also we look for pirate ships uh, in this area because if we find pirate ships that are preparing for uh, pirate attacks in the Indian Ocean we will uh, of course uh, board them and uh, uh, confiscate the, their uh, gear. Faced with constant military pressure in the Gulf of Aden, the pirates have moved to the Indian Ocean. The area is the size of Europe and very difficult to monitor. Pirates have operated hundreds of miles, 600 miles off the coast of Somalia. And so we have to approach the pirates down there uh, in a different fashion. And that's why we have moved more into uh, positioning ourselves off where we know the pirate camps are in Somalia and trying to intercept the pirates as they come out uh, in order to, to head out into the basin to intercept shipping. If, if we capture some pirates and take them on board the ship, then that means that the ship then has to travel to some place to disembark the pirates, which is difficult enough in the first place because that takes days. And so it's much more efficient for us combating the, uh, the effects of piracy to just set the pirates back ashore than to take a valuable asset like Absalon or any of the other ships that are in this area out of play for upwards of uh, a week or more just to transport pirates to a nearby port. Uh, is they'd be much more effective remaining on station uh, and uh, disrupting the activity on the scene rather than uh, transporting the pirates away. We are a few miles from Hobyo on the east coast of Somalia. The Lynx, the Absalon's combat helicopter, is carrying out a reconnaissance flight. After about 10 minutes, they fly over the first boats, then arrive over the camp. The camp is a suspect base that had already been identified by international forces in 2009. Mann is the helicopter's reconnaissance officer. His role is to gather a maximum of clues to determine whether the pirates are ready to attack. We're looking for uh, skiffs with uh, multiple outboard engines. We're looking for uh, larger skiffs, whaler types with uh, inboard engines. We're looking for provision that looks like it can keep the, the whalers at sea for a longer time, oil drums. We're looking for ladders, ladders with hooks attached to them weapons, stuff like that. The photos taken during the flights are analyzed in the Absalon's operations center. Before envisaging any form of action, Captain Termanson wants to ensure they're not simply dealing with fishermen. Uh, this picture here shows us uh, a, a place on the uh, coastline where we uh, had the helicopter uh, out and uh, gather some intelligence. Uh, we see here a uh, lot of uh, fishing boats uh, and uh, we have uh, different kind of vehicles uh, around the area here. And also uh, we have men. We can zoom a little more in and uh, see if the men carry weapons and also we can see what they are building up of uh, stockpiles, uh, fuel, uh, outboard engines, uh, and are they preparing to go to sea? The brand new pickups, fuel supplies, armed men, and the number of boats photographed leave no doubt as to the nature of the suspect camp's occupants. They are indeed pirates. The Absalon travels slowly towards the coast. On board, the entire crew is on the alert. In the operations room, Dan Termanson and his men keep a constant eye on the control screens. Thanks to the ship's ultra-powerful infrared camera, they can observe the slightest movement in the camp. On deck, Heidi and the boarding crew are ready to act. As night falls, the first pirate boat heads out to sea, under the cover of darkness. 
the special forces have only a few minutes to check their weapons and prepare to intercept it. The Absalon launches its rapid dinghies after the suspect boat. After a few minutes chase in the dark, the commandos covered by the ship's helicopter board the boat. Confronted with the heavily armed Danish elite units, the presumed pirates offer no resistance. Once they have taken control of the boat, the special forces note the suspects' identities before discreetly accompanying them to shore. The boat they have seized is a mother skiff, a 12-meter whaleboat, loaded with fuel, water and supplies. It's a sort of nanny boat that enables pirates to remain at sea for several days or even weeks, waiting for their next victim. Then the explosives team boards the boat. Over two kilos of explosives are placed in the whaleboat. The charge is calculated to destroy the boat entirely while creating the least amount of wreckage and pollution. Now we try to get here, guys. We hold the ball here, and so the ball will give you a knell. Bang! It's a meter, guys. But we hold each hand here, nil, because they they come in spark. You hold it here, ball is more a smack, guys. So yeah, try to go and see this. <laughs> the assault crew returns to the Absalon in the early hours. For Heidi, it's been a busy night. You've been out there, you've been in action, not that big of an action, but you've been out and your heart has been pumping and then you're coming back and then you have to relax, but you're still kind of up here because you're still ready. Can you guard it? My fingers are all the way. You still have a loaded gun, so you have to unload it. And, and, but after that, when we unloaded our, our guns and take all our gear off, we sit down and talk so we can make sure everybody's okay so nothing happens. I think it's good because we know what we're doing. We know we're making sure that somebody not, is not going to be taken and they're going to um, the sea on a safe way. Discouraged after three unsuccessful attempts, the pirates decamp. Very quickly, the base empties out and on board, routine sets back in. For Captain Termanson, the mission has been a success. I think Absalon is very proud uh, being the first ship uh, that uh, has conducted that kind of operation. Uh, we managed to uh, find a uh, very active pirate camp. We destroyed three pirate uh, attack groups. And uh, we also uh, saw that the activity in the camp uh, was uh, decreasing. All we have trained for actually worked. Uh, all the men did exactly what they were supposed to, and uh, the operation went smooth. And that really made me proud of my men on board.
when you're off duty, you don't think about it that much. You're just off duty, take your brains out, relax. But when you're on duty, you have to stand up here for six hours. You have to be ready, you have to look. And yes, you think about it, you hear them talking over the radio. But just remember a guy's voice saying that, uh, thank you, thank you for helping us. And they're glad we're down here. It warms your heart. <laughs> After three months at sea, it's time for the Absalon and the other ships of Standing NATO Maritime Group 1 to leave the area. But the mission is far from over. They are immediately replaced by the five ships of Standing NATO Maritime Group 2, which will carry on the fight against piracy. The objective remains the same, to restore calm and safety to the seas of the Horn of Africa.